how do you structure your practice sessions? How do you recommend some of the structures of practice sessions? Mm, it's like the age old question. I think if anybody could could solve that problem for everybody, it's like a blanket. They they would be very wealthy uh, for the rest of their lives because I think every guitarist struggles with it. It's that like moment as a guitarist where you sit down and you're like, I've got an hour. Uh, I've got an hour and a half. What do I do? Like, what, what the heck do I do with this time? And typically what you'll see people do is they go to this pattern of playing the same old things that they played yesterday at the same speed they played them. And maybe they'll go on YouTube and look up something, but they're just watching it. And then like they go down this trail of like, oh my gosh, the hour's gone. All right, let's put the guitar away, be done. I started getting really strict on my practice routines, I'd say four years ago. Of course, I was really strict in college. We had to practice four hours a day required in certain structures. But once I got out of that, I kind of lost the structure. And I started getting really big into optimizing that time because it's very limited. We all have such limited time and we want to play guitar and we want to get better at guitar. But it's like, OK, I have maybe 30 minutes, maybe mm. 10. What do I do in that time? So I started following a guy named Kiko Lareo, who is the guitarist of Megadeth now, actually. Never liked Megadeth ever, really. Hate me. I'm sorry for all the Megadeth fans. Never liked him. But Kiko is one of the most incredible guitar players. And uh, he has this routine that has just killed it for me every single time. So he'll start with 10 minutes of warm-ups. I think this is a massive key for everybody watching and playing guitar. Do not play unless you've warmed up. Like, don't sh go into shreds or trying anything hard unless you're loose, warmed up. And warmed up, it means multiple things. It means actually having warmth and like not playing with freezing cold hands, but also having that dexterity and, and actually feeling like I went to the gym and I did some stretches before I, I lift the weights. So it's the same thing. You can really hurt yourself if you're trying very complex things when you're not loose and you're, you're not stretched. So for stretches, it's usually like 10 minutes. And in those 10 minutes, he's going through just very rudimentary, maybe scale work. <laughs> Just very slow paced, using every finger and really focusing on getting your right hand exercised with maybe some alternate picks and then also starting to get that left hand stretched out, but not going crazy, not going insane with the process. So you start by a warm up and then depending on your goals, you start to set up specific results. So for 20 minutes, I'll focus on right hand work, getting my right hand quicker, my right hand cleaner. So maybe that means alternate picking. Maybe that means sweet picking. Maybe that means economy picking, which, you know, is, is a crazy thing as well. Uh, and then I'll focus as soon as that 20 minutes hits, I'm done. I move on to the next and I do 20 minutes of left hand work. Uh, and once you structure this and you hold yourself to it, you start to really get efficient with the practice. And depending on the amount of time you have, I always recommend 10 minutes at the end to do something crazy. 10 minutes at the end uh, is intended to do fast drills that you can't play that speed. So you're already loosened up and you're just gonna go for it. You're gonna increase that metronome by you know, 25 BPM over what you can do, just so that your hands start to try to catch up and they try to get there a little bit so that you're boosting that up a bit. And then lastly, always recommend this to everybody. Hey, I'll look at you. To everybody, improv. Just end every practice session with improv. Pull up a, a breakthrough guitar backing track and just improv at the end of it, because at the end of the day, if you're not feeling creative with it, which I think is the goal everybody wants, everybody wants to make music. Uh, if you put the guitar down and you're like, man, that was really hard practice for a long time. Uh, it's not as fulfilling as that was really good practice, but man, those, those notes I was hitting, those feel really good. They made, they kind of brought me out. They, they made me feel alive. And it really helps with your ability to solo later and jam with other bands and other groups and people. Always practice improv, no matter how simple. It could be five notes for 10 minutes, like just improv and start to discover yourself. So I'd say warm up, intensive chunks of practice, a super speed round, and then improv. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video. That was just a short clip of one of our longer Q&A videos. If you're interested in watching some more of those videos, then I recommend you hit the subscribe button over here. It's really awesome. Also, we got more videos over here, so check some out if you're interested in learning more about breakthrough guitar or advancing your guitar skills. Peace.